So this video was supposed to be happening outside right now. I was supposed to be sitting on my deck with a cup of coffee talking with you. The weather had other plans in mind. It was completely out of my control. And if you're the parent of a teen or young adult, a Gen Z, it can feel that way right now as well. That things are out of your control, out of their control. The education system, the healthcare system, politics, immigration, our kids' future, finances, something as simple as gender, they all feel out of control. And then there's the gap. The gap is the difference between what employers expect and need when they hire somebody and what Gen Z overall is bringing into the workplace. And that gap is causing that generation to flounder. So what do we do as parents? Well, we control what we can. So I heard an interview the other day that was talking about how at least 25% of Gen Z's have brought at least one parent along with them for a job interview. Well, that is not the control that I'm talking about. And that is not the kind of parent we wanna be. What we need to be doing is helping our teens and young adults fill that gap. But if you're like most people, you're thinking, ah, I'm already overwhelmed. I can't squeeze another drop of time out of an already empty container. Well, my name's Todd Reimer. I'm also a dad to three young adults. So I get it from a parent's perspective. But I'm also a leadership supervisor and management coach and trainer. And so I'm spending time with the people who are hiring Gen Z, who are training them, and who end up supervising them. And I sense a lot of frustration. What I started to notice several years ago was a crisis. A crisis for Gen Z and for their parents. And so I put together a resource, a book called Fill the Gap. It's a book that will walk you through the tools and the exercises to help prepare your children for their careers and for the future. Because the reality is, nobody cares more than you do. Now it can be as simple as helping them understand why they should be on time, why they shouldn't be late. In the chapter dealing with this, I'll walk you through the material in a couple of pages, and then I'll give you an exercise. And here's what it looks like. You wait until your child is waiting to get somewhere, and they need you to be on time to get them there. Drag your feet a little bit. Slow down a little bit. Wait until they come to you and start putting the pressure on because they don't want to be late. You can take a moment then or you can wait till later, but wait until the emotion is there and then help them understand this is what they're doing to other people. They are stealing other people's time and they're robbing other people of things that matter to them. You see, right now, the bar is really low. Somebody who shows up for their shifts consistently and on time becomes valuable very quickly. They're the ones who are considered for raises. They're the ones who are considered for promotions. You see, you can play a significant role in preparing your children for success when many of their peers are being set up to fail. Fill the gap for parents. It's practical, it's flexible, and it's life-changing. Click on the Learn More button below. It'll take you to my website. You'll be able to find out more about Fill the Gap. Fill the gap for parents. It's practical, flexible, and life-changing.